This is today's Global Financial News Minute. I'm Don Belarge, and an over-the-counter health care product company needs an EBITDA checkup. More in 15 seconds. If you have an invention you would like to try to patent and submit to corporations and want free information that explains how InventHelp may be able to assist you, call now. For your free inventor's information, call 1-800-631-1444. EBITDA for Matrix Initiatives for its quarter ended December 31st was $281,000. It's a 97% decrease over the year earlier, same quarter. Now, Matrix Initiatives has generated two consecutive quarters of positive EBITDA, but for the most recent quarter, they did reach a two-year low. Shares of Matrix Initiatives are recently trading around $8. Now, EBITDA is an acronym for Earnings Before Interest, Taxes, Depreciation, and Amortization. It's calculated by taking operating income and adding or subtracting depreciation and or amortization. EBITDA as a performance metric came about because corporations have significantly increased the use of debt to finance their operations. Analysts believe that the increased interest expense as a percentage of total income due to that debt masks the performance of an operating business and thus reduces the valuation when traditional valuation metrics are utilized. The simple theory behind EBITDA is the actual profit that a corporation would generate if it was sold to an all-cash buyer. For more information, visit GFNN.com. I'm Don Belarge, and this has been today's Global Financial News Minute. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. This is today's Global Financial News Minute. I'm Don Belarge, and an electronics company has had an OPS downgrade more in 15 seconds. If you have an invention you would like to try to patent and submit to corporations and want free information that explains how InventHelp may be able to assist you, call now. For your free inventor's information, call 1-800-631-1444. StockDiagnostics.com has downgraded its OPS ranking from 1 down to 2 for IEC Electronics. The OPS ranking downgrade was based on IEC Electronics' recently filed cash flow statement for the quarter ended December 31st. The company's computed OPS, or operational cash flow per share for the quarter, was minus six cents. Now, OPS for IEC Electronics trailing 12 months, however, reached a seven-year high. Shares of IC Electronics are recently trading at more than eight dollars. OPS rankings originated from the results of an in-depth research study on operational cash flow that was done by StockDiagnostics.com. The study included 3,885 public companies, and the findings revealed that each of the companies' OPS logically fell into one of eight distinctive risk categories, which became StockDiagnostic.com's uh, numerical 8.1 through 8 OPS rankings. The ranking of two which the company received means that IEC is in the lowest risk category. For more information about operational cash flow per share, visit GFNN.com. I'm Don Belarge, and this has been the Global Financial News Minute. This is today's Global Financial News Minute. I'm Don Belarge, and a consumer financial services company is showing a revenue improvement more in 15 seconds. If you have an invention you would like to try to patent and submit to corporations and want free information that explains how InventHelp may be able to assist you, call now. For your free inventor's information, call 1-800-631-1444. Revenue for Asia funding for its trailing 12 months ended December 31st was $208,000. That was up 54% over the year earlier, same 12 months. The consumer financial services industry, which in Asia funding is a member, generated a revenue increase of 6.3% over the same period of time. Now, the consumer financial services industry is currently ranked at 103 out of 229 industries based on revenue growth for all industries. Being aware of trailing 12-month news for public companies is essential because public companies are not required by the SEC to report trailing 12-month or fourth quarter financial data when they make their quarterly and annual filings. A constant look back at the previous 12 months of comparative data will give investors a more stable reading on the true health of a public company. Public companies can withhold or push negative information from the three, first three quarters of the fiscal year to their fourth quarter because they're not required to file a quarterly report for the fourth quarter by the SEC. For more information, please visit GFNN.com. I'm Don Belarge, and this has been today's Global Financial News Minute. Thanks for joining us. This is today's Global Financial News Minute. I'm Don Belarge, and a utility company is warming to some good cash flow numbers. More in 15 seconds. 
If you have an invention you would like to try to patent and submit to corporations and want free information that explains how InventHelp may be able to assist you, call now. For your free inventor's information, call 1-800-631-1444. Cash flow from operations for NSTAR for its quarter into December 31st was $166.5 million, a 307% increase over the year earlier, same quarter. NSTAR has generated 20 consecutive quarters of positive cash flow from operations, and for the most recent quarter, they reached an eight-year high. Shares of NSTAR are recently trading at $44. Now, what is cash flow from operations? Well, it's otherwise known as CFFO, and it's calculated from data found within a company's cash flow statement. That is filed to the Securities and Exchange Commission on a quarterly basis. Cash flow from operations is a much better leading indicator than earnings on net income because the cash flow statement will reconcile balance sheet data like receivables, inventories, and payables. Each of those items can have a significant impact on a company's cash position, while a company's earnings or net income may include non-cash profits and losses. For more information about CFFO as a stock valuation metric, please visit GFNN.com. I'm Don Belarge, and this has been the Global Financial News Minute. Thanks for joining us. As always, we'll see you again tomorrow. This is today's Global Financial News Minute. I'm Don Belarge, and a gaming machine company is not hitting the cash flow jackpot. More in 15 seconds. If you have an invention you would like to try to patent and submit to corporations and want free information that explains how InventHelp may be able to assist you, call now. For your free inventor's information, call 1-800-631-1444. Free cash flow for international game technology for the quarter ended December 31st was $60.1 million, but that was off 48% over the year earlier, same quarter. International Game Technology has generated seven consecutive quarters of positive free cash flow, but for the most recent quarter, they did reach a two-year low. Now, shares of International Game Check Technology are recently trading around $17. Now, free cash flow is defined as cash flow from operations or operating cash flow plus or minus capital expenditures. That's a line item found in the cash flow from investment section of a company's cash flow statement that is filed quarterly in the 10Q and 10K reports publicly traded companies are required to file by the SEC. Free cash flow represents the cash that a company is able to generate after laying out the money required to maintain or expand its asset base. It's important because it allows a company to pursue opportunities that enhance shareholder value. Without cash, it's tough to develop new products, make acquisitions, or reduce debt. For more information, please visit GFNN.com. I'm Don Belarge, and this has been the Global Financial News Minute.